In this video, I am going to set up our private parity PYA genesis file and also node configuration file. So what are these two? Let me give you some information on that. So when you say genesis file, this is the file which contain all the information about the network. Let's say how much gas you need to consume, how much ethers you need to initiate your network and who are the other additives to block mine the blocks and all this information will go to this genesis configuration file and there is an other file is the node configuration file in the node configuration file what we are going to do we are going to keep all the information about the node let's say when you call this node as an authority node that means who can be able to mine the blocks so we are going to tell uh, to the network to use this node and also do the transaction so we are going to open the ports we are going to allow our rpcs and everything all this information we are going to keep this in the node configuration file okay so all this uh, formats and everything is available in my git repository so i'm going to leave a comment in this video so you can be able to go there and get the code you know instead of you typing everything okay let's get started I have my parity genesis file already in my github and I don't want to type manually so I'm going to copy it from there so I'll go back to my git so I'll type github dot blockholic dot com there I have a file called parity genesis dot json so I'll click on that. I'm going to copy the complete information, whatever is there. However, we are going to make some changes to it anyway. So just click on raw and copy the complete content. Control C. Go back to your virtual machine. Type sudo nano. ParityGenesis.json Press enter Here I'll just remove this Genesis file goes here And I'm going to paste it here Here I'm going to make some changes So before we get into the changes so I'll just explain you uh, what this file contains. So this is our network name parity genesis and this is the duration. This is the duration for what duration the blocks has to be mined. I've selected five seconds and this is this is the place where we can write our validators. This can have a multiple validators. I am telling from zeroth block use this validator currently the array is empty we are going to fill that in a while so here there are some extra parameters which you can see maximum extra data size minimum gas limit network id and a lot of things if you want to make any kind of a changes or if you want to do some kind of a research on this parameters you can feel free to go to the parity official documentation and you can get it done so these are the things so now what I'm going to do I'm going to create uh, sorry we have already created our ethereum account now I'm going to export that account here so I'll just close it now I'll go to my ether wallet in my ether wallet earlier we have selected a uh, create new wallet this time we are going to access the wallet let me go back here click on it my the wallet go to home here i am going to select access my wallet click on access my wallet and i am going to select software and select key store here we are going to upload the file which we have downloaded in our earlier videos click on that select the node click open 
now enter the password here so this is the same password which we have and added in password folder so it's parity poa123 so just to make sure yeah that's right click on access valid it takes a while now you can see your address of your ethereum account this is the address we are going to use and we are going to update the same thing in our genesis so i'll just copy it go back to the virtual machine and i'm going to type sudo nano parity genesis dot json here i'll have to update at two places the first place is at the validators list so here i'll have to give that validator paste it this is our validator which is going to mine the blocks and the second place is at the bottom where i'll have to assign few ethers nothing but a faucet kind of a thing so i'll go back here comma enter and here i am going to enter the address and i am going to assign some balance to it so let me paste it here paste and here i am going to write down balance colon and uh, i'm going to give some huge number of ethers maybe in real time you can be able to do a calculative thing and you can be able to assign some ethers to it so there is a limit so you just make sure that we are not exceeding the limit of it just save it and close it now what i'm going to do i'm going to make some changes to the node configuration file so i'll type sudo nano node dot toml here what i'm going to do here that so let me give you a small introduction what this node file do so whatever you are expecting to do on the blockchain network we are going to keep that here let's say you want to access from your rpc or you don't want or you want apis to be enabled you don't want or you want transactions to be mined or you don't want see you can be able to customize almost everything and anything from this file so i'll just copy this file and i'll move it to the virtual machine so i'll just copied it go back here and let me remove this and i'll paste it here paste it so you can be able to observe it here so what i have done so i'm going to rename it to node.toml so here i have a chain so this is the place which i am telling the network to use that particular genesis file the base path is the place where i am telling network to store the data in that particular place so i'll just edit to node yeah this is the network id so this is the port of the network which is it's in like an internal port which we use it for the e nodes we are not going to talk that in this series i'm going to make another video later on that so this is the rpc i'm we are enabled cross origin and i'm telling blockchain to be accessible on 8545 if you want some other port you can choose it and i'm telling all apis to be enabled it's same with the web sockets as well so but web sockets will be accessible on 8546 because rpc is already occupied 8545 so this is the password of the path so i'm going we are going to keep our password path we are not going to do anything now we'll do it later so i'm going to copy the address and i'm going to paste that address in the node configuration file and i'm going to save it that's all for this video it's a pretty long video in the next video we are going to see how you can be able to import your ethereum account to the genesis block that's all for this video see you in the next lecture